The last type of noise is one of the most common noises, but it's quite hard also to get because it's, it can lead to break all the shapes that we have on the other effects. So the last one, it's going to be the fray noise. We're going to add a new noise here. And the fray noise is going to be the one that works as damage. So again, we are going to repeat the same uh, mask uh, expression. Just leave it somewhere that you can copy paste it because it's quite useful. Hit apply. And that way we can just mask some parts of the actual hair to have it. Normally the fray, it's going to affect the tips a little bit more because it's just for rubbing, damage, uh, wind and everything else. Uh, ironing the hair, a lot of things can happen ten that can lead to damage like this. I'm going to hide the stray and the fray noise and the fly away noise so you can actually just see the uh, fray. So the fray, it's going to affect with a, with a high density noise all the strand. For that, we will need to have a good amount of CBs to see it. For long hair, this is quite a big amount to have 80 CBs for that kind of hair, but should be around that for a hair around here, maybe 60 CBs should be enough. Each CB is going to affect quite a lot on a big groom rendering. It doesn't affect that much on a groom for a D double, like human hair. But if you go for a creature, it's going to be a lot. So take this thing into account. A creature should, should be for sh short hair around six, for long hair around 20 at, ma at most. And for a human long hair, it should be around 60 to 40. And if it's really, really long, maybe 80. If the Also, if the kind of noise and everything, it's a lot, you will have to go up, but try not to depend too much on that. You can see how some of the actual noises has uh, the effect to break the shape. So we have that effects already. Now let's try to work a little bit on the magnitude, maybe a magnitude of 0.2 or, or 2 is going to be more effective. You can see here that the actual effect is there. So let's put a mind of a little bit less. The magnitude is too high. So let's put a magnitude of 1.5. And we can add a little bit of correlation. It's going to lead to a better uh, result around there. And I do need to affect more hair because it's the damage only. So the hair is going to be affected. I think that no, I will need to bring the magnitude lower just to have a subtle effect. It's too much. Yeah, I think a value of point of one is enough to have the effect. You can see here how the bases are not that affected because of this. I'm going to affect a little bit more here. You can see how I can break in all the specular light. And if I go to the tips here, I have a really nice effect where everything is more affected. If I want to affect a little bit more, I can break a little bit more. But now I have a nice breakup on the tips that is because of the fray damage of the hair. So I can bring back the O2 damage also, the flyaways and the strays. Maybe the straight, it's a little bit too high now. The straight is this one. So let's put a 6% of the straights only. Maybe an 8%, 8.5%. It's a good number. And you can see the flyaways, the straight, and the fray noise also. 